Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download the full installer of macOS Sequoia, whether you need the public version or the beta version. I'm gonna show you three different ways to be able to do it, even if the ways Apple provides don't work very well or are having issues. Let's jump in and get started. First, let's quickly go over what the full installer is and what it can be used for. If you're having problems with your Mac or you need to be able to reinstall Mac OS, you can use that full installer to be able to create a bootable USB installer of Mac OS Sequoia. You can also use it to reinstall or upgrade your Mac from the full installer, or you can use it to be able to boot when you're having troubles with the operating system, like it won't boot and you need to do some repairs. Mac OS recovery is still there and an internet recovery is still there for Intel Macs, but if there's something wrong with that, having this USB installer for Sequoia is always a nice thing to have standby when you're trying to troubleshoot your Mac. And one of the problems is, is that Apple kind of makes it a little bit difficult to download the full installer. When you look at the first two options, they don't allow you to download the full installer. The first version is just saying upgrade to Mac OS Sequoia with software update, and that works, but that's not gonna let you download the full installer to create the USB. The second version is to use Mac OS Recovery. That's not gonna get you the USB install either, because that's just going to reinstall only. And if you can't get to recovery, you're having another problem that's not gonna help you. And finally, using the App Store. This can work, but the problem is, is it uses a direct link to the App Store that then opens up system preferences or system settings. And a lot of times that has a bunch of problems, whether it's compatibility saying this version is not available or whatever. While these instructions are there, sometimes it doesn't work. Now, one of the best options that Apple has is to be able to just download a direct link of a DMG directly from Apple's servers. The only problem is they only go from Lion to Mac OS Sierra. They don't include any of the newer versions. So when you have that, you're kind of stuck to be able to get the newer version. Even worse is one if you need one version behind and you don't want the latest version. That's what only Apple provides when you do these upgrades. Now that we know that the ways that Apple provides might not get you exactly what we need, now let's go over the three different ways that you can download the full installer. The first way is to use Apple's own download links. And I keep a list of those links on my website. It's called the Mac OS Sequoia Full Installer Database. Now, I keep a database for all the previous installers, Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, and even Big Sur. We can take a look at what, for example, Sonoma looks, you can see all the different versions that are available that Apple has as direct links. Now, where do I get these links? You can see right here at the bottom of the screen, it is a full Apple link. And remember, I do not recommend downloading the full installer of any version of Mac OS from any other site except directly from Apple. And you can inspect my links. They are a full apple.com domain and Apple makes these links available to the public, but you just have to be able to know where to get them. What it comes as a is a package and all you need to do is come here and get the version that you need of Sequoia. Now I've got the Sequoia page here, but and eventually we will see public and final here and then the betas will be below. Download Sequoia is to be able to click on this and it'll immediately start to download directly from Apple. Apple's website. And we'll take a look at what that looks like in a second here when it's done downloading. Now, after it's done downloading, this is what it's going to look like in your downloads folder. It'll say install assistant.pkg. To install it, all you need to do is double click on it. And then all you need to do is run through the install assistant and then click on install, type in your password, wait for it there, and it's going to copy the full installer app to your applications folder. We'll click on applications and there it is in applications. Install Mac OS Sequoia, for example, or for a beta version, it'll say install Mac OS 15 beta. So again, it all depends on the name, either you're on the public or the final or the beta version. Now let's look at the second way to be able to download the full installer of Mac OS. Now this is a Apple supported way that they don't really talk about it. It's not even on their support page, but we are going to use terminal app. You can go into the applications folder, then the utilities folder, and then the terminal.app. And when you open it up, you'll see your prompt here. And I've already got the full command in here to be able to use. It all depends on which version of Mac OS Sequoia you would like to download. If you want to be able to download the full installer of the public version, all you need to do is run software for update dash dash fetch full installer dash dash list full installers to show all the versions available to you. But if you want to be able to download, for example, Mac OS Sequoia beta, you have to be able to enroll into the beta first on your Mac. Then it'll show you a list of the beta versions available or it'll hide those by default. So let's take a look at the beta version first. And this is what it'll look like. You want to be able to click on the beta updates up here on the little I, and then you want to click beta updates and then Mac OS Sequoia public beta, developer beta to be able to see the Sequoia. So we'll click on the Sequoia developer beta and then we'll click on done 
and then it'll check for updates again and we should see the full upgrade for Mac OS Sequoia in software update. Now remember, that's the only key here is that if you click on this in years past, you would be able to download the full installer right from system preferences. That does not work anymore. If you click upgrade now, it will upgrade your Mac in the background and does not download the full installer. So what we wanna be able to do now is leave this here, but now we're able to see the beta versions by clicking this command. So let's hit enter and it's going to check and there is our beta version of Mac OS Sonoma right here. And again, the same thing goes for the public version. For example, it'll say Mac OS Sequoia right here, version 15.1, for example. So to be able to download this then, all we need to do is run the same command, but download the full installer. So here's the command that we would use. Software update dash dash fetch full installer dash dash full installer version and hit enter and it's going to scan for the mac os sequoia 15.0 installer we'll give it a second here and it should start to download it and there it goes we're downloading directly from apple at anywhere between 5 and 20 megabits per second and when it's finished it'll be in your applications folder and there's your full installer Got the, now that we got those first two out of the way, the third way is to use Apple's recommended way, which is basically following their link. I also have a link on my website to show all the different ways to download the installer. A ton of different commands, links, everything that you could ever use, and I'll put these in the description too. But basically what Apple will do is when, the down, when that link is ready, you'll be able to click and follow this to go to the Sequoia site or the App Store. So you would click this, for example, to be able to go to Sequoia, you would click on open the link and what it's going to do is bring you to the app store and then you can click on get mac os sequoia click on get and what it's going to do is it's going to open up software update like this and give it a second to load and this is where the errors usually happen sometimes there'll be an error but usually you can get this if you get this use your okay so we can test this out to be able to download you'll click on download and it should start to download the full installer and then it'll go into your applications folder when it's done but again problem is is with previous operating system versions sometimes you'll get uh, this uh, this version is not available and all kinds of problems but that's the way to be able to download it in your system preferences or assist software update from the app store and before we go i wanted to give a fourth bonus way many have heard of mist and it is a wonderful open source application that is designed and maintained by mac admins and this is used to be able to download full installers and ipsw firmwares all you need to do is go down here and download the dmg or the package installer is open up the mist application just double click on mist and it'll immediately open up the application and it will start to search for the latest firmwares and the installers and you'll see that they will change the gear when it's checking for new updates. And the first thing you're gonna see is all the firmwares. The firmwares are for IPSW, M1, M2, M3, for Apple II Configurator Restores. This shows you all the way back to Big Sur. Every version is available. Now, when it comes to full installers though, that what we're talking about in this video, it only shows you the versions that are available on Apple's website, just like Fetch Full Installers did. And it's basically the same thing as Fetch Full Installers, but it gives you a nice GUI option. You can click on download right here directly to be able to download the installer right here and you can refresh your wonderful application. That's how to download the full installer of Mac OS Sequoia. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this process and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.